midst of struggling, He is still God. Even when trials come, temptation brings you down. Also, when sometimes the house you live in looks a lot different on the outside than it does on the inside. Sometimes, the people you count on to protect you are the very ones who put you in harm's way. My name is Tamar, and sometimes happened to me. I grew up living every little girl's dream. My father was King David ruler of Israel, great warrior and conqueror. I really was a princess. I lived in a palace and I really wore beautiful clothes. All seemed right, but all wasn't right. One day, my father sent word for me to go to the house of my half-brother and prepare some food for him as he was ill. And so I did what my father asked. My brother told me to bring the food into his bedroom because he wanted to eat it from my hand. As I came close to give him bread. That's when he grabbed me. Sometimes you don't know you're in the spider web until it's too late. Afterward, my brother consumed with hate ordered me to be thrown out of his sight, discarded like some dirty cloth. I was so filled with shame that I tore my gown, my princess dress, and then I put ashes on my head. An enormous part of me died that day. I told my other brother what had happened to me, and he told me to be quiet. My father heard of my rape and supposedly was furious. He chose, however, not to punish his son. Truly, what happens behind closed doors stays behind closed doors. I began to second guess everything. When does what has happened to you stop defining you? When does the mirror say that you're pretty again? Does the one who holds the moon know my name, know my pain? Does anyone know the way out of this place? Show me if you do. Please, someone, show me what to do.